what is the difference between slash ghost and slash suicide? I get, there's probably about an A help every other day about somebody who A doesn't even know how to suicide or how to get out of a role. Actually, that's probably about every day. But there's no explanation at all in the game about that the fact that slash suicide or slash ghost or even commands that exist. So I'll explain them real quick. Well, slash suicide is a real easy one to explain. You type in, you just type in forward slash suicide, and if you're not near any special interactions, I'll just say you attempt to bite your own tongue, and you will die. And you will get this text saying his or her soul or they, their soul has departed and moved on. Any recovery is unlikely. Well, they shouldn't say that, because recovery is impossible. If you suicide as your character, that character is done. You cannot play as him again. You, there is no chance of being cloned. Now, very quickly, this is what Slash Ghost does. Slash Ghost leaves your character alive. They're not dead on the ground. And you'll have different text. She, he, or they are is totally catatonic. The stresses of life in deep space must have been too much for pronoun. Any recovery is unlikely. That means that character has specifically ghosted out of their character. They want nothing to do with it anymore. But they didn't feel like suiciding. This is really useful for, like, if you don't want to accidentally, like, stink up the place or, like, miasma. The problem is, though, if you ghost, and, and or not the problem, if you ghost, it's a clear indication to everyone that you are, that character is done playing. And for other things, like, uh, tarantulas by slash suicide, it kills the spider. But here, let's do a, an example. I spawned another spider. And uh, suiciding as a spider, even though it's dead, will sometimes just leave the body. And you just get stuck into it until you take it over and die. And that is obviously a bug. So I would never recommend suiciding a ghost roll if you don't want it. Just ghost. Because as I'll show you very quickly, if you slash ghost, it relinquishes the roll to somebody else. So I would never suicide a ghost role because you are just screwing it out, screwing it from somebody who might actually want it. There is one other example I'll show you, and this is the big misconception one as I was talking about. So, so if I take over this character, spawn a Eurist, uh, give myself an axe real quick, and if I crit this Eurist, like so, and I take them over, if I slash suicide, this character has now the their soul is departed and moved on. Any recovery is unlikely. So people can grind up your body, and slash suiciding is basically taking your character out of the round permanently. However, or if you are crit, and you slash ghost instead. Look at that. You give up on crit, so you don't have to stare at a black screen. But it will just say their soul is departed. Which is an indication that they can be cloned still. So, just a very quick FYI. If you want to keep playing the game, but you're in a critical state. Slash, just always ghost. Don't suicide. If you suicide, that means you're done. It's basically do not resuscitate. Or do not clone. But if you want to keep playing, but you just don't want to keep gasping on the floor, especially if you're a slime, uh, slash ghost. This is also a uh, common gameplay one, is if you're a zombie. Zombies don't take any damage at all when they're crit. They don't breathe, so they'll never die naturally. So if you want people to know you're dead, you need a ghost. Because uh, that's a common one where people see a person on the ground and just assume they're okay for some reason. 